Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend and you're ready for a brand new week. Today I'm here to show you the journal that I made using all of the, um, the masterboard pieces. I have a couple of recent videos where I did the masterboard and then cut it apart and started making some things for the journal. And that was the masterboard where I followed Joey and Tina and Barbara doing the, um, I believe it was originally Joey's idea to make the bas master board out of book pages. Just make your own base. So that's what I did, and this is the journal. I've just got it wrapped up with some twine. I thought that'd be something different. And if you saw any of the other videos, I wanted to do a really vintage, um, kind of organic, beat up type of journal. So I've got all torn edges on the cover. This piece is from the original master board. I just added a couple extra things to it. And then again, the inside. Um, oh, and this book that I used for the for the cover was a composition notebook that I just cut down. And then the inside, I just tore some coffee dyed paper again and used as the inside covering. And this is one of the pieces from the master board, as is this one. I made a journal card backed it with some coffee dyed paper so you could do some journaling back there. And then this is the journal. Got some music pages. This is composition notebook paper that I just coffee dyed. Some little tags and cards. Some music paper. And this is a belly band that I made from the master board. And I just put a um, little journal card in here. It's one of the clusters I've made. This is a page from um, Tracy Fox, one of her kits. Just did some stenciling here. Got some different kinds of papers. This is one of the tags that we made from the Master board, got it back with coffee dyed paper. And then this is just a paper from one of Tina's Shabby Dabby Doo Dah's kits, just for some extra journaling space. And then this is another piece that I did. Oh, I don't remember if I tell you in the original video. This isn't a, well, let me show you in the middle here. It's not a three-hole punch. It's just two or three-hole signature binding, whatever you call that. Jeez. I did two, and I left it so that, see, some of these things I just inserted in. That's what I like about this type of binding, because you can take pages out to work on them, and if you have something personal or, you know, just another paper you want to insert, you can do that. It just easily slips in and out of there. But that was one of the pieces from the master board. Did some stenciling over here. And this is an Edith Holden page. Thought that worked well in here. This is just a wide piece of washi that I put there. This is the back side of that piece of the master board. Just layered it up a little bit more. And this is one of the large tags. I put some coffee dyed paper on the back for journaling. But that's one of the pieces from the master board. And this is one of the clusters I recently made. I thought that was cute on there, like a little tab for that page. Did some more stenciling. And here 
here I've got three little birds stenciled and then one over here in the corner. And some different papers and I thought gave it a little, you know, a little personality. And, and this is a pocket and some stenciling. And this of course was the master board. Here's the back side of that uh, coffee dyed composition notebook paper. I've got a couple of tags in here. I love how the coffee dye turned the blue lines into a pretty green. I think that turned out cute. And then this is another one of Tina's papers, um, just for some extra journaling room. And the pocket is the master board. And then this is the back. I just layered it up. This is just different papers layered. And that's it. This will be in my shop today. I hope you like it. Really had fun making it. So thank you for being here, and I will talk to you soon. Happy crafting.